Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm um, gonna go for a motorcycle ride today. It is beautiful. It's Saturday. It is about 28 degrees. I'm, I'm sure it's really hot. Um, I'm dying in this motorcycle jacket, so um, I can't wait to get out there and just feel some wind. Um, but I want to show you guys uh, the setup that I've done now, uh, and I think it's gonna be a lot better. I'm not gonna have wires everywhere, and I've actually installed a microphone into the helmet quite nicely. I've hidden, hidden the wire away. Let me show you what I've done. So I got the camera mounted here finally on the side of the helmet, and I got the uh, Cena on this side. I have the microphone attached to the Cena, wrapped around the Cena, and it goes into the helmet and I have it coming out here plugging into the Drift HD Go. So let's get out on the road and uh, test this out and uh, I think it's gonna be a lot better. I think I got the camera settings correctly hopefully it's not gonna look like you know this um, so uh, we'll see we'll test it out today we're gonna go for a ride to Leduc and uh, it's a small little town about uh, 20 30 minutes away from Edmonton um, so not too far and it's right by our um, uh, international airport so uh, it's a nice small little place uh, to ride to and uh, to grab a coffee uh, but I'll, you'll see let's go all right hey guys man I am sweating like a pig it took me like no kidding 10 minutes to get my motorcycle out of the garage because I had everything in the way and when you have everything in the way and it's plus 28 and you were in a heavy-duty motorcycle jacket um, it's like the worst thing ever. I bet you that'd be a good way to lose weight. It's just sit in your garage with your motorcycle jacket on and just sweat. So we are going um, southbound on 99th Street and I'll close the vent. Uh, I'll close my helmet here. Um, just oh, these train tracks are brutal. I don't know how the train doesn't fall over right there. It's like the train tracks are in an angle. All right, so let me close these vents. Hang on. I have something uh, on the helmet. I have a, a, a wind breaker that fits on the bottom of the helmet. And it's almost like, uh, I guess, uh, it fits right under, like snug underneath your chin. And I think that's gonna help a little bit, or a lot more, with the wind. We'll see, because I think, I mean, I, I can't even hard, hardly hear any wind in the helmet. So it does do a pretty good job. And I think it's gonna be, uh, you know, gonna, gonna make the sound hell of a lot better we'll see I mean I'm gonna edit this all tonight and we'll see oh no this is the biker's worst nightmare right here especially when you're sweating like a pig and it's hotter than balls oh thank God the train has already passed because that would have sucked. Sitting here. You know, these CN trains, my God. They are so long. It's like 87 cars or something like that. Like, it takes, it takes like 15 minutes to go by. And uh, the worst thing is, is that it's always during rush hour traffic is when you see them. So, we're going to go... Um, southbound on uh, Calgary Trail here. All right. So this is Calgary Trail southbound and there's a lot of stuff here uh, on Calgary Trail. Places to eat. Uh, I got the AMA over there. I keep forgetting uh, the camera is on my helmet so I can actually point things out to you guys. Here we got a Walmart. 
That's kind of cool. Uh, there is Toys R Us. There's everything. Oh, Good Life Fitness right there. Open 24 hours. That's cool. All right. So we're just heading to Leduc. Like I can't wait to get on the highway here. Like it is, I'm sweating. Hope the camera's set up correctly, guys. There you go. Another biker waved at me. There's a Canadian tire. So we'll check out the video uh, if I have to raise the uh, um, camera a little bit more up then I will do that. I'll check the video out once we get into the Duke and I'll, uh, I'll, I won't be able to fix it because I left my screwdriver at home. Uh, we got Ikea. Ikea is right over here. It's a good little, uh, well not little, it's a good furniture store. All right, so we are on the highway, and it's 90 now, thank God. And I can feel the wind in my hair. Haha, uh -huh. don't have any hair. All right. Beautiful, beautiful night for a ride. So I've spent the day, uh, well, some of the day, studying for work for Monday. I start my new role on Monday and uh, it's going to be uh, pretty challenging. I'm going to have to study on a daily basis and prepare myself for every day uh, the day before. I'm up for the challenge though, we'll see how it goes. There's somebody hitchhiking. Alright, so this is the first time doing a mic test with this mic doing uh, 110. Well, actually. Alright, there it is. This is the first time uh, testing out this microphone here. Going 110. And we are going southbound on uh, Calgary Trail. I'll, uh, I'll point out the airport here when we get there. So I think I'm going to like this kind of uh, vlogging with the camera on the helmet. I think it's going to be a lot better. Uh, I don't have the wire running from here, right, to here, you know, to the helmet. I don't know how much you guys can see here. That's going to have to be uh, checked out on review and just see if you guys can see you know anything here or is it just out here that you're seeing <coughs> this lady just looked at me funny because I'm talking to myself <laughs> no I'm talking to my subscribers lady she probably thinks I'm nuts so I don't know tell me what you guys did today put it in the uh, comments below Look at this guy riding his bicycle on the highway here. Like, what is he doing? That shouldn't be allowed. So this wind is a dream. My house is so hot, I don't have AC in my house. And uh, I got two fans going. And all it's doing is blowing hot air. Like, I've never ever felt Edmonton this to be this hot before I think uh, like my videos are gonna be long because I've always got something to talk about uh, hopefully I don't bore you guys you know so we are coming up to our airport here this is our international airport and uh, 
We don't have a train that goes here yet, but I guess they're going to be working on that. So right now, to get from Edmonton to the airport, you got, uh, I don't know, maybe three options. Well, four. You can either drive yourself and rent a parking stall there. And it averages to be like 20 bucks a day, something like that. Sometimes you can get a package deal if you're going away for a week or two weeks or something like that. Or I guess you can take a taxi. Uh, Uber. Might be your better choice. Might be cheaper with Uber. But uh, from what I heard from a friend, I don't think Uber is allowed to drive you to the airport or maybe they can't pick you up from the airport or something like that. Uber has some kind of rule. Uh, the other option is you can get someone to drive you and drop you off. You know, but uh, so I mean, right now that's, that's your options. And the airport's quite far, it's about you know 30 minutes away from uh, downtown, right? So, I mean, if you live, depending where you live, it could take you a long time to get to the airport. So, maybe it's best that uh, you get a friend to drive you, but then you got to worry about who the hell's going to pick you up. This is uh, Airport Edmonton International. And uh, maybe we'll film some planes coming over. They come extremely low uh, in Leduc here. But there's one there in the distance, so it looks like they're using uh, a different runway today. Usually they, they use the runway that runs uh, from what it would be east to west. And uh, they come very low. Uh, it's kind of cool to see a whole bunch of bikers right there. Um, really cool to see uh, them come flying by. Uh, and landing very cool thing to see so hopefully they uh, change that runway for us when we get there but like I said you can see uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera but there's an aircraft landing over there um, you can see the lights in the distance there now you know what I really hate this remote for the drift it really sucks. Like every time when you push stop, it goes to a different record sequence. I really hate it. And then you gotta push it, push it, push it until you get back to record mode. It really sucks. All right. Uh, Leduc. All right, so we're just walking down here, checking out this little uh, little lake or pond or whatever the hell it is. Got cute little ducks, little babies. I don't think you want to be uh, swimming in here. Uh, yeah, the water is just nasty. Oh my God. So down there in the distance, I don't know if I can zoom in on that. Oh yeah, I can, okay. Right there we have some uh, pelicans. So, that was pretty cool. 
I haven't seen that before. You know, I've come to Leduc a couple times, but I haven't had a chance to really drive around and check it out. But not a good place to swim in this lake or whatever it is. Hey guys, so I just stopped, you know, to do some filming around this little lake here. And uh, oh, great. Forgot to get the key. Out. Oh my god, what a pain in the nuts. Oh. oh. Hell is my key. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, this is not good. I just had my key. And it's gone. What the hell? What the hell did I? Oh, for Christ's sake. <sighs> Found my key. Uh, uh, just some advice, don't have 19 pockets, because there's a good chance you'll put it in a pocket that you don't usually put it in. Anyway, like I was saying, and I just messed up again, because I can't do that, I gotta do this first. I do have better days than this. Today we're doing a live, a live video of how my life is, is all messed up. Okay, it's blinking red, it's recording. Got my key. I think this video is going to be a long video, guys. But I hope you don't, guys don't mind. <sighs> okay. Now, like I was saying, I stopped to film this for you guys, right? And I checked out the video footage, which you've seen. Uh, and here's the problem. Like, you're here, and I'm... You, as you heard, there's that crackling sound. And you know what happened? In the wind, there's this wire that goes, you know, from that I showed you. This is the wire that hooks up to the mic that goes into the sea, uh, into the drift. When I'm riding, it's probably rattling in the wind and it's disconnecting itself. That sucks because now I gotta find a way to somehow keep it in the house, like secure, so that the wind doesn't blow it around or blow it un unhooked. If that makes any sense, I can't even talk right now. I'm so pissed off because I was talking throughout the whole video, telling you guys some good stuff, and all you hear is crack, crack, crackle, crackle, crackle. So, I don't know, if I uh, remember, I'll repeat myself. So, and uh, the other thing is too, all my indicators on, I wasn't even paying attention to that. So, the other thing is too, is that the... Uh, 
the camera is facing too much down and I gotta lift it up a bit more that's okay at least now we know right because I don't want it showing down uh, you know here you want it showing up here like I have to lift the camera up a bit right oh this is the Duke <coughs> I just got a fly in the eye So yeah, that's not cool, man. That wire. It's gonna keep coming apart now. Like, I'm gonna have to uh, tape it together. Man, that's gonna look great. Gonna have tape around the wire. That's gonna look so awesome. I can't wait to let people see that. Yeah. Oh, here's the Tim Hortons. I was gonna go for a coffee, but you know what? I, I, I'm so freaking pissed off right now. Uh, it's getting dark as well. And uh, I'm gonna go home and edit this video. And uh, make some adjustments, tape this thing together. I mean, that's what it's all about. This is the first time out with the microphone installed into the helmet. So that's the reason why it was crackling. Because when I tried to uh, figure that out, I noticed that it was, uh, I had pulled apart from the connection of the drift a little bit. So, I don't know, maybe I'll have to tape it to the helmet. I don't know, it's gonna look ridiculous. I'm probably gonna have people pointing at me going, look at that guy. He's got tape all over his helmet. He looks great. All right, let's close this, because it's getting a little bit noisy. Oh yeah, I was gonna film some planes for you guys. That's what I was saying when it was crackling and crackling and crackling. Planes will fly over this way and land. There's a runway right over there, but uh, there's a big X there tonight on the runway. I guess that means don't land there. It's probably under uh, maintenance. But yeah, guys, so hope you guys like the new Duke. a nice little place to come to that's for sure and uh, if this video is long I apologize <coughs> beautiful uh, sunset there it's too bad it's so cloudy oh by the way last night I think it was like 3 30 in the morning there was a lightning strike and a bang that woke me the hell up. It was so loud, my cat almost jumped out of its fur. It was probably like, it probably sh uh, struck right by my house. Because I remember seeing the flash. Woke That woke me up, then the boom just about made me shit myself. And it was just one bang, that's it. And then the storm was over. It was like so weird. And I couldn't get back to sleep because I was like, what the hell was that? And then my neighbor, I don't know what the hell he was doing, but he's building something at 3.30 in the morning. He's hammering on shit. Why didn't that wake me up? I have no idea, but uh, after I was awake, I heard him hammering away, hammering away, and I'm like, what the hell? Who the hell built something at 3.30 in the morning in a lightning storm? Guy's nuts. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Please subscribe down on the bottom uh, right share my videos like my videos 
and come back for the next one. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.